I'm Fuse from Exile, and I want to take a moment to talk to you about Barchi. That's using barbarians and archers. Since the beginning of Clash of Clans, this has traditionally been a way to get a lot of loot fast. Barbarians and archers are cheap and they train quickly. And especially if you boost your barracks, it doesn't take very long to have a full army ready to go. But since the faster training times for the bigger troops arrived, a lot of people they don't farm with little cheap troops anymore. Some people even go as far as to say that farming is dead. I've ranted before about how farming isn't dead. This isn't going to be one of those videos. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about barching while playing some example replays in the background. Some of these replays are from earlier this year, like the one on the background now, by I'm Too Much For You, aka Trey. And some are more recent, but they're all from this year which is allegedly the time during which farming was supposed to have been killed. But farming will never go away. People need to upgrade their bases, and the most cost-effective way to do that is to farm for loot. War isn't cost-effective. I'm lucky just to break even on Dark Elixir expenses, and that's when we win. And that's why there will always be farmers in this game. Some people will push for trophies, and some people will do war. But at some point, everyone needs loot. And most of us don't gem entire bases. So let's talk about barching. The first thing you want to do when you find a base is figure out where is the loot. Is it in the storages or is it in the collectors? Because that makes a difference in how you attack. Look at the little cart next to a gold mine and if it's full, the gold is in the gold mine. Elixir pumps have visible windows which show the level inside. Dark elixir drills have a containment box on top of them. If those levels are high, you're going for the collectors. But if they're low, the loot is in the storages. Look at the storages and see where they are. Take a look at the defenses and see if they're charged up. Can you get to the storages? If you can't say yes for sure, then you have to skip the base. It may hurt to pass up that loot, but if you don't have the army to take it, it does you no good to waste your troops. In a barge attack, barbarians are your tanks. Lay down a line of barbarians with a line of archers behind them. Barbarians can each take a few hits before getting killed allowing the archers to possibly take out the defenses. Some people do this only with barbarians and archers, but I like to bring along eight to 10 wall breakers too, because you never know when you may need to break down a wall to get to the loot. Another technique, as Dick is showing us in the replay now, is to spread out a few archers sparingly, allowing them to take out whatever buildings they may while out of range of defenses. In farming, we really don't care so much about trophies. It's all about the loot. But if you win, you get a loot bonus. And the higher percentage of destruction you're able to complete, the better your bonus will be. It's really quite simple once you get the hang of it. Some people even push with this army, attacking for 50% to get the loot bonus and the trophies. But that's really a subject for another video. Every time Supercell releases an update with a buff for mortars or cannons or archer towers or traps, people cry, farming nerf. Supercell is killing Barch, but then people adapt and they figure out that it's still able to be done. When the game changes, you have to adapt. There's always a way, but it's like a puzzle. We have to figure it out. Check out the loot on this attack. You don't have a lot of time to assess the base and plan your attack. As soon as he sees gold storages on the outside of the walls, he goes after them. A few more troops go down to get the collectors. Barbarians in front with archers behind them. Again, barbarians and then archers. Barbarians and archers. And now it's time to come in through the top for the rest of the loot. Overwhelm the defenses with barbarians and then archers. Barbarians and then archers. He realizes he doesn't have the troops to get to the gold, so he changes his game plan and decides to go for the town hall. He drops lightning on the cannons and releases the rest of his army. Remember, 20% of the loot is in the town hall, but you have to destroy the town hall to get it.
He activates the Barbarian King's ability just in time, and the Town Hall goes down. He didn't get all the loot, but he got over a million. Anyone can barge. Whether your troops are level 1 or level 8, and whether you're in Gold League or Titan, it doesn't matter. Just remember, identify the loot, decide whether your priority is storages or collectors. Remember, the Town Hall is a storage and holds up to 20% of the available loot. So destroy the Town Hall when you can, and destroy as much of the base as possible in order to maximize your win bonus. Remember, it's a wave of barbarians and then a wave of archers. A wave of barbarians and then a wave of archers. Barbarians can take a few hits, let them do the tanking. Archers are fragile, but they can shoot from a distance. Let them hang back behind the barbarians. And if you do end up including a few wall breakers, put them in behind a wave of barbarians. Because you certainly don't want the defenses to shoot your wall breakers. Be especially mindful of mortars. I've seen more wall breaker fatalities from mortars than probably anything else. Watch out for splash damage. Anything that does splash damage can be harmful to your barge troops. These troops are weak, they overwhelm by numbers, and to have them getting destroyed by splash damage defeats the purpose and removes the advantage of attacking in large numbers. Don't be afraid to test your limits. You may be surprised at how resilient your troops actually are, but you won't know until you try. Even in farming, attack with a plan. Don't just spam your troops. Of course we can't plan ahead of time like we do in war, but deploy your troops with some intelligence. Have a specific goal in mind. Use the 30 seconds of scout time to your advantage. Look at the loot and look at the defenses. Are the crossbows empty? Are the infernos charged up? If it's a Town Hall 11, is the eagle artillery operational? Are the heroes awake and if so, can you kill them easily? Where are the mortars and the wizard towers? Are there any obvious trap locations? Are any of the traps already tripped? Can you trigger the clan castle troops and if so, do you have a place to lure and kill them? Are spells going to help you have a huge advantage or are they even necessary? Where's the town hall? Can you get to it easily? These are all things to be taken into consideration. But you gotta think fast because you only get 30 seconds to scout and then you're taking time away from your attack. In addition to having a few wall breakers on hand, I also like to have a few minions. They're great for taking out barbarian kings, troops that won't fight back against them, such as such as Valkyries or Balloons or etc. Plus they're also great for funneling. Sometimes a minion can take out poorly placed cannons or other ground targeting defenses. Keep a good supply of spells, but try to avoid using them whenever possible. Are your heroes awake? Bring them with you, unless they're upgrading of course. Don't be afraid to experiment and don't be afraid to fail, but learn from your failure and adapt for next time. And until next time, thanks for watching.